Hi everyone, Ellen Sisneski here with May Arts, and I am just going to show you really quickly today how to use this webbed weave ribbon from May Arts as a mask on your layout. So I have a scrap piece of paper that I'm going to work on here. I have a pretty heavy duty sponge, and you can see I've used it a lot before. And I'm just going to hold my ribbon down in place, like this, and then I'm going to take my ink pad, and I'm just going to start dabbing. And as you can see, as I start to do that, it'll start to create a mask. And what I have here is I have a couple different shades of brown, so that way I can kind of blend it as I go to get some darker ones in there with the lighter. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. And as you can see, I'm starting to create a mask. This one's kind of cool because it almost looks like like an animal print. It's like an alligator skin. And then I'm just going to keep going and it's going to create that mask. And this is great. It's really heavy duty and it doesn't stretch that much so it's going to be a good mask. And as you can see, if I put this against my paper, it really didn't take on too much color so I can actually flip it over and use it. If you were going to use the mist, um, like a glimmer mist or spritz of some kind on here, it'll really saturate it and turn it into whatever color. But just by using a little bit of ink, I'm going to be able to use this again. So here's the layout again to show you how I did it. And I just took, again, the webbed weave ribbon as my mask, laid it down, and then just dabbed right on here to create the masking. And that's it.